Hi traders, 9.13, 4th of January 2017. We're going to set up the Opulent Startup system and also the real-time correlation indicator uh, onto an MT4 account here. This is my license management area and I'm going to download the installer for Startup V4 and once that's downloaded I'm going to then open this up and run the installer and point it at the MT4 data folder where I want to install the system. So I'm just going through the installer here, accepting the license agreement, and first thing it will ask us is enter the path for your MT MetaTrader installation folder. This is the MT4 data folder, so to find this, go to MetaTrader 4, the account you want to install on, go to open data folder, right click in this area up here and say copy this address as text and then go to back to your installer simply paste that address into your installer click next click install that's the opulent installation completed now we'll install the real-time correlation tool exactly the same process so just run the installer, accept the license agreement, point it at the same data folder, so just paste that same MT4 data folder back in there, and that is now completed. So our installation is complete. Now if we go in, back into MT4, press Ctrl and N, which will load the navigator, right click anywhere in the navigator and press refresh. Now we'll just get the opulent system up and running, so open up any old chart you wish. Uh, get rid of the grid, go to a line graph, go to properties, select no or none for line graph, so now we've got a nice clean chart. Go to indicators and then load FXA STD indicator V4 JFX. Go to the common tab. I'd make sure allow DLL imports is selected. Click OK. Let's, and we'll get this warning saying there's no interface loaded. That's cool. Go down to the expert advisors and select FXA Statarp V4 JFX. Drag that onto your chart and make sure allow DLL imports is selected and allow live trading is selected. Click OK. And again, you, you'll get this red warning here. So next thing to do is go to the MT4 data folder, double click the FXA JFX interface.jar file which will load up our interface. You need to have a Java um, runtime environment loaded on your machine for this to work so unless you've got a Java runtime environment it ain't gonna work so if uh, just make sure that you've, you've downloaded a Java runtime environment um, it can be 32-bit or 64-bit, it doesn't make any difference um, so it's just make sure you've got a runtime environment so you can run Java applications. Now into your unique reference number and the ID which you all have been provided with. Click remember login details. And the first thing you'll see is no accounts have been set up and the system will use the installation folder. Uh, which we first selected, which does happen to be our MT4 data folder, which is correct, so that's fine. So it's just it's just verifying that here, click done, and now you'll see the product catalogue popping up here. Go to Arbitrage Systems and your V4 interface will come up here. Now just click on the chart to make sure that the selected chart is selected in here. Go to Arb Setup, enter something like, uh, we're going to use, let's use uh, an index, so let's just have a look at the data, uh, market watch, I'm going to use the German 30, DAX 30, and the CAC 40, so D30 and F40. Click enter after you've put these this data into leg A and, and leg B in here and just wait for a tick to come through and you'll now see the ARB chart has been created. There's some editing to do here in terms of 
getting this into a, a format which we like. So this is all kind of blue and a bit weird for us at the moment. So we might want to make some changes to the way the color controls are displayed. So in the STD indicator, everything is blue here. So I might want to change the upper trigger color to something, you know, to suit my requirements. And you can see this all beginning to come through now. Lower trigger color, uh, whatever you want, really. Spread. Let's go for a white spread. So you can see, I'm just setting, just configuring the system how we want it to look. And same thing with the expert advisor. So I want my our system data color. I want that to be white. <coughs> and when ticks come through, it's it's tick uh, driven the system. So you'll need tick data to make it work. Okay, so that's our our setup. Um, Obviously, there's a lot more to this uh, in terms of um, getting this into a fit state, but we're just, we're just talking about getting the system up and running for you to start experimenting with to start with. So that's the ARB system setup. Uh, now what we want to do is go to another chart. So I'm just going to load up any old chart will do. So let's go to sterling US dollar. Same thing, just get rid of the line graph. And that. And I'm going to load my real time correlation indicator, FXA real time correlation, JFX. Make sure allow DLL imports is selected. And straight away we've got a default setup here. And let's just go into our interface. So close down the version 4 interface. Go to analytical tools, pick RT correlation, and now click on the chart to make sure that this sterling US dollar chart 60 minute is selected. And you can see that selected chart is there. Now, what I'm going to do is just going to remove some of the, these additional pairs. So, to do that, you just go into here, delete these additional pairs simplify things a little bit and now we've got some basic kind of forex pairs being shown and let's just change my color scheme a little bit let's go to text size 10 title color white positive correlated we'll use red negatively correlated in fact I'm going to change that positive correlated I'm going to go for uh, I'll go for blue. Or navy. Negatively correlated, I'm going to go for red. 100% color, I'm going to use white. I think I need my, yeah, the positively correlated isn't showing at all well with blue, so we'll use, let's pull that out with yellow. Make that stand out, that's better. Negatively correlated, we're running uncorrelated color I want to make those disappear a little bit into the background let's try coral yeah, a little bit too bright you can experiment with these colors as, as you know get something that you like um, the time frames are specific so if you go to h4 you'll get the default setup again um, whereas h1 it will reflect what we just set up here, you can see the interface changing accordingly. So go to H4, and you'll see all those extra pairs coming in. Go to H1, and the interface will go back to the configuration we had before. This means that you can have different time frames um, which will have completely different correlation um, setups on them. So you could have one time frame could be for foreign exchange pairs, one could be for um, indices, or commodities and or you can mix them up if you as you see fit so that's basically how you set up the two tools together um, so making sure if you want to control the ARB system you need to close down the real-time correlation go to the arbitrage interface click on the chart to make sure the selected chart is selected here and you can obviously check that by looking at the chart ID in the top left hand corner ending in 629 
euro dollar ending 629 that's fine if you want to quickly replicate these setups you can create the template so you can save this as a template and call it whatever you want so arb temp and then you could go to another chart uh, and load that template but again when you do that you're going to have to go into the interface and you're going to have to set up a new set of ARBs in this interface. So let's just go something simple. Euro dollar, euro yen. And unfortunately you're going to have to go through the same tuning process. So the template simply just drops on the expert advisor and also the STD indicator. But you're going to have to tune your colours and all that sort of stuff accordingly um, for each setup. So there you go, that's basically how you run StatArb v4 Opulen in conjunction with the real-time correlation indicator. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.